everyone, it's everyone is the Chicken Gamer here, and welcome to another video where today I am going to be doing an in depth explanation on what EV training is and how to do it in Project Pokemon on Roblox. Now, in this video, I will be going over these topics How do I, what is EV training? How do you EV train? How, where do you find out what stats uh, to EV train in? What is IV training? How do you IV train? And what do natures do and are they involved? So, um, for what EV training is, it's pretty much a form of training that will well, increase your stats farther than they normally go. For instance, my Volcarona, which is called a Flamingo because I'm very weird, um, it had a base, well, at level 100, it had a special attack of 210. Now, being, now having a, a, two, a stat being in the 200s is normal for a level 100 Pokemon, but after I found out how to EV train it, I used Common Candies, EV trained it, and now its special attack is 406, as you can see right here. So, uh, I will be showing how it, it all works with this Volcarona right here. So, yeah. Okay, so before we get into the EV training section of this video, um, there are some things you should know. You cannot EV train your Pokemon if it is level 100. It must be below level 100 in order for it to be EV trained. Now that rule does not apply for IVs. So, if your Pokemon is level 100, you can go into the Pokemon, which is where I just went, although it, it may be in a different location depending on where you're at in the game. So what you want to do is talk to the NPC and go to Competitive Items. Oh wait, no, Evolution. Items. Yeah, Evolution Items. There you want to buy some common candies. This will level down your Pokemon, so, um, so you'll have to, uh, get the levels back, but that's really easy. Now, if your Pokemon has already been leveled up, or, uh, by, if your Pokemon has already been leveled up by you or by someone else that, and you traded for the Pokemon, what you want to do is buy a stat reset. Now I will go to Elegant Valley and buy a stat reset, which is in the competitive items. You do not want a mini stat reset, you want a full stat reset. A mini stat reset will reset 10 EBs from every well, from every stat, whereas a, whereas a full-on stat reset will, uh, take out all of the EVs. So, this has 12 EVs in HP, or health, so I want to get rid of that, and... Now it has zero. So you can talk to this NPC to see the base stats of your Pokemon, the EVs, and the IVs. So IVs are here. And IVs are, look complicated, but they're really not. Um, now, uh, just to, to let you guys know, the stat reset, it will not reset any of your Pokemon's actual stats, just the EVs. So, once you've done all of that, 
I recommend going to a website called Cerebi.net. Now, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right or not, so I'll just and I'll uh, I'll just leave a link to it in the description. So there you can find what stats you want to EV train your Pokemon in. Now there are so there are three ways to EV train your Pokemon. The grass here in Elegant Valley. So this is one of the uh I guess it takes the longest to do. Um but it can also be the most worthwhile. So this area right here, the waterfall, every, for every Pokemon you knock out, you will get one EV in HP or health. Now if it's a Lapras, you'll get two EVs. This area right here is special defense. For every Pokemon you knock out, you will get one EV in special defense. Here is speed. Now, these these patches of grass or speed EV patches, there's one Pokemon you should be careful of. Tauros. Tauros will give you both one stat in speed and one stat in attack. So you gotta be careful with that. Every patch of grass inside this cave is defense, so for every Pokemon you kill, you'll get one or two EVs in, in defense. Up here in the mountainous area, or whatever the word is, it's attack. So for every Pokemon you knock out, you will get one or two EVs in the attack stat. And lastly, this patch of grass is special defense. So for every Pokemon you knock out, you will get one or two EVs in the special attack stat. Now, you do want to be careful in all of these patches because you can encounter legendary Pokemon. You do not want to knock them out. If you find a legendary Pokemon, either catch it or run away, but do not kill it or knock it out. Knocking out Legendary will give you random EVs, which you absolutely do not want. Now, another way of EV training is going to the competitive section of the Pokemon and buying vitamins. So, each thing tells you what it does, and... Yeah, uh, the most you can buy for one stat to work is 20, which will give it 200 EVs in that stat. The maximum EVs you can get is 252. Now, the easiest way to EV train is using the Isobots in Saffron City. So just talk to this NPC and type in ISO underscore HP and click enter and it'll load in the um, health bot for or HP bot. So for every Pokemon you knock out of the trainer of the bot's Pokemon, you will get three EVs, meaning you will have 18 EVs done for every trainer. If you have zero EVs on your Pokemon, you will have to fight the bot 14 times. So for speed, you do ISO underscore speed. For defense, ISO underscore defense. For ice for special defense, ISO underscore special defense. For 
I set a special attack, I set one does, but, well, for special attack, I set one does score special attack, and for attack, I set underscore attack. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much, uh, what you do they are. Okay, next up is what are IVs. IVs stand for individual values and they range from 1 to 31 in stats. So as you saw in Elegant Valley when I clicked on the non-EV trained Volcarona and non-IV trained Volcarona, it, it was all messed up and random IVs. So what you want to do is go to the uh, Pokemon and go to competitive items, which I'm already there. Now what you want to do is buy six uh, Poke Improves. They each cost $30,000, so you'd be spending a total of 180000 Poke Dollars. So, now if you're, now 31 is the, is the maximum number an IV will go to. So if your Pokemon already had a or multiple stats in, in, uh, well, a or multiple maxed out IVs, then you want to buy the, the amount of, of IVs that you need to train. So if you had two maxed out IVs, then you would want to buy three Pokey Improve so you could max out the IVs for everything else. I'm really trying to explain cause in a simplistic way because I'm not very good. So here it's all messed up. Now, I do this. And this. And now it's all maxed out. So that is how you, that is what IVs are and how you IV train a Pokemon. Lastly, there is uh, natures. So natures will change the well, like uh, IVs and EVs, they increase the stat, the stat of the stats. Now, with natures, it's a little bit different. Natures will increase one stat and decrease another, or do nothing. So, for Volcarona, it, Volcarona is a special attacker, so I want to give it the nature modest because it doesn't need any attack. It its attack stat is completely useless. That is the wrong thing. And so now its attack is like this. I mean special attack is like this. So uh Natures are relevant, you just want to make sure you're giving it the correct one. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there is a website called Cerebi.net. Now, I still have no idea if I'm pronouncing it right or if I'm just uh, butchering the name. So, um, I will leave the link down in the description and Looking up what kind of Pokemon to EV train in, it will also tell you the stat, the nature to EV to give it. So now I am going to just show you the EV training part. So hope you guys enjoy or and see if and see what I mean if I confused you guys. So yeah.